In just a few minutes, I will show you a streamlined workflow, essential tools and unique features you won't find in any other app. So, let's dive into the steps to master its basic workflow. It's so simple. You will see why investing your time in this video is absolutely worth it. First, drag and drop your 3D model into Prusa Slicer. Or click Add or Command I if you like hotkeys. Use the Place on Face tool, F, and Arrange. A to organize your models on the print bed efficiently. Choose your printer, filament and print profile from the sitting tab. Customize further if needed. Click slice now to generate G-code for your printer. Use the preview function to inspect the sliced layers and make sure everything looks correct. Once satisfied, export the G-code to your printer. Now it's time to review all tools from horizontal and vertical lines. Let's start with horizontal. The Add tool allows you to import new models into your workspace effortlessly. If you need to declutter, the Delete tool lets you remove selected models, while Delete All clears the entire workspace in one click. To maximize print bed utilization, use the Arrange tool, which automatically organizes your models for optimal spacing. Duplicating objects is straightforward with the copy and paste tools, enabling quick replication of your designs. For more control and duplication, the Add Instance and Remove Instance tools let you manage multiply instance of the same object, reducing slicing time and ensuring consistency. For a complex model, the Split to Object tool separates combined models into individual objects, while split to parts breaks a single object into its constituted parts for a detailed manipulation. The search function helps you quickly locate tool or sit in saving you time in navigating the interface. One of the standout feature is the variable layer height tool, which allows you to adjust layer heights dynamically within a single print. This feature optimizes print quality and time by using thinner layer for detailed areas and thicker layer for less critical section. Mistakes are easily managed with the undo and redo tools, giving you the flexibility to revert or reapply action as needed. Now let's switch from the horizontal toolbar to the vertical toolbar. The move tool allows you to adjust the position of your model on the print bed, ensuring optimal placement for printing. It's particularly useful for arranging multiply models or reposition parts to avoid support structures. The scale tool lets you resize your model whether you need to fit it within the print volume or adjust it to specific scale. This feature is essential when dealing with models that are either too large or too small for your printer. The Rotate tool enables you to change the orientation of your model, which can help reduce the need for support and improve print quality. By combining Move, Scale and Rotate, you can position your model perfectly for printing. The Cut tool allows you to slice your model into smaller parts, making it easier to print large objects or create complex assemblies. With paints on supports, you can manually apply support structure to your model. This gives you a greater control over where supports place it, helping to minimize material usage and improve print quality. Sim painting lets you manually adjust the sim position on your model. By controlling the sim location, you can enhance the aesthetic quality of your prints and reduce visible artifacts. The measure tool provides accurate measurements of distance and angle within your model. This is crucial for verifying dimensions and ensuring that parts will fit together as intended. Actually, in Prusa Slicer, there are three levels of seating, simple, advanced, and expert. Simple seating are designed for beginners, providing essential option for a quick and easy setup without needing in-depth knowledge. Advanced seating cater to intermediate users, offering detailed control over parameters such as print speed and support seating for greater customization and optimization. Expert seating are for experienced users, unlocking all parameters for complete control over every aspect of the 3D printing process. Understanding layer height in 3D printing. 
Layer height is a fundamental concept in 3D printing that can greatly impact the quality, speed and strength of your 3D prints. Let's break it down step by step. What is layer height? Layer height refers to the thickness of each individual layer of plastic that the 3D printer deposits as it builds up a model. This measurement is usually given in millimeters and can range from very fine 0.05 mm to quite coarse 0.3 mm or more. Think of it like a resolution of your print. Just as higher resolution images have more detail, lower layer heights produce more detailed prints. How layer height affect your prints? Print quality and detail. Lower layer heights. This produce smoother surface and finer details because the layers are thinner and less noticeable, ideal for intricate design and aesthetic part. Higher layer height, for example 0.3 mm, this create more noticeable layer lines and less detail, suitable for functional parts where surface finish is less important. Print speed, lower layer height. Since more layers are needed to build the same height, print take longer. For instance, a 100 mm tall print with a 0.1 mm layer height will require 1000 layer, while the same print with 0.3 mm layer height will only need about 333 layer. Higher layer height this print faster because fewer layers are needed, reducing the overall print time, strength and durability. Lower layer heights can offer a slightly better layer adhesion and smoother stress distribution, which might make the part stronger, especially in vertical z-axis direction. Higher layer height generally result is faster print but might compromise the strength a bit due to less layer adhesion. In fill percentage. In fill percentage refers to how much material is used to fill the inside of 3D printed object. It's expressed as a percentage of the total internal volume of the object. Here's the tailored look at what that means. 0% in fill. The object is completely hollow. 100% in fill. The object is completely solid. Common percentage 10-20% good for a decorative item where strength isn't critical. 20-50% balanced for items that need moderate strength. 50-100% used for objects required high strength and durability. Why will percentage matters? Strength Higher in fill increases the strength and weight of the object. Material use higher in fill uses more filament, increasing cost and print time. Print time more in fill means longer print time. Now let's talk about different in fill pattern. The most popular is grid. This pattern consists of simple grid that crisscrosses its strains lines forming a square mesh inside the print. The strongest infill pattern is Chedroid. This pattern features a complex, wavy structure that interlocks in 3D space, creating a highly unconnected network. And the most aesthetically pleasing, of course as for me, is Honeycomb. This pattern is inspired by the natural structure of Honeycomb forming a hexagonal grid inside the print. 